What's going on guys, it's Kude here, and today we're going to do on Mortal Kombat, the upcoming challenges and events. So we got an event that I actually wanted to cover. Um, first off, Elder Wind Tower and Elder Wind Tower Fatal. Finally, Elder Wind Tower Fatal has started today, actually, uh, June 2nd at 9 a.m. Central Time. It's pretty nice. 37 days, pretty much. 37 days alongside 43 days on Elder Wind Tower Normal. So a lot of people have been asking, when's the next update going to be? And I think I should just put this at the beginning of the video. The next update is most likely right after this tower ends. So you see Elder Wind Tower Fatal, not Fatal, sorry. Elder Wind Tower Normal, it says 43 days. After the 43 days is up, maybe one, two days later, or possibly just straight away the day that this tower ends, is when the next update will be. Because this is just how they do it every single time. Once the 3P tower ends, they make a new update. Um, so, new tower, repeat, update. But now, let's go cover what is after the Kung Jin challenge. You should be embarrassed. Alrighty, so after the Kung Jin challenge, we have Treacherous Tanya. Now, I did already do a video showing off the t Treacherous Tanya requirements, uh, so this is not really new. I guess I'll just skip it since I did show off the hard and elder difficulties in the previous video, but whatever is after Treacherous Tanya, I'll be showing off. I'll be showing off the hard and elder difficulties. But Treacherous Tanya is a great character. Overall, she's a good fighter, but I think she's just kind of been weakened. Uh, mainly because Elder and Tower Normal and Fatal uh, are just so difficult, and I don't think... I don't know if Indestructible is on for normal. I know it on, it is for Fatal f for the most part, uh, but even if it's disabled, the Indestructible equipments, it never seems to be effective anymore. I do remember a time when I was using Treacherous Tanya and it did work, but for a tower like Sorcerer's, I used her as well, and it was a super old tower. Just didn't really help. It was better to use Combat Cup. So I do recommend getting Treacherous Tanya, but overall, you don't see yourself using her much. Anyways, let's go see what is after the Treacherous Tanya ta challenge. Alrighty, after the Treacherous Tanya challenge, we have Heavy Weapons, Jax Briggs. He's actually a good character, alright? And when his Comet Pass comes out, it will make him super good. Heavy Weapon Jack Briggs, I bullied him senselessly because when I was playing on MKX Mobile, I always got Heavy, Wep heavy Weapon Jack Briggs, which isn't a bad character, but I always wanted something different. I wanted different characters, and Jax Briggs just wasn't one of them at the time. But I bullied him too much because with his uh, brutality gear, he is a beast, and for Jax Briggs, his SP2 can do damage to the entire team because of the shield break. Team shield break. And that's why J Heavy Weapon Jax Briggs is really deadly. So let's go over his challenge requirements. Bronze characters only, silver bronze characters, silver characters only, your, your team must be out of Outworld characters, and then lastly, Ermac must be in your team. So as we can see here in his passive, 30% toughness for all Spec Ops teammates. Law ba Blast, uh, special attack 2, deals damage to the entire enemy team and breaks shields. Yeah, pretty nice. Similar to Classic Sonya uh, being able to do team shield break with SP1, but overall, it's different since he's using SP2 and she's using uh, SP1. Anyways, let's go see what the hard and elder difficulty is for the Heavy Weapons Shax Briggs Challenge. Alrighty, this is the hard difficulty for the Heavy Weapons Shax Briggs Challenge. There are no changes to the requirements, but there is a change for the equipment. You actually get the special rare gear. Uh, it's not really special since it's pretty old, but it's cybernetic arm. Now let's go see what the elder difficulty is for the Heavy Weapons Shax Briggs Challenge. Alrighty, so this is the Elder difficulty for the Heavy Weapons Jax Briggs Challenge. We have Gold and Diamond characters only. Your team's going to have Ermac or Kung Lao characters. Your team's going to have Martial Artist characters. And then it repeats until the end. And you get one last copy of Heavy Weapons Jax Briggs. My USA Soldier. <laughs> Alright, so let's go see what is after the Heavy Weapons Jax Briggs Challenge. Get some! The next challenge after Heavy Weapons Jax Briggs is Classic Melina. Let's go over her requirements. Bronze characters only, silver and bronze characters only, silver characters only, your team's going to have Netherrealm or Elder God characters, and then lastly, Raiden must be on your team. Classic Melina, uh, 
Basically, when she defeats an opponent, she recovers a percentage of that enemy's max health. Her teammates gain health when she defeats an opponent. So overall, she just gains health upon defeating opponents. And I know for a fact that if you do use her to de defeat the last opponent on a team, you can pretty much heal your entire classic team, which is pretty cool. So let's go see what the hard and elder difficulties uh, for the Lunatic Challenge are. This is the hard difficulty for the classic Molina challenge. Uh, it has no change to the actual um, requirements, but Razor Sai is the rare gear that you get with Molina. So let's go see what her elder difficulties are. Alrighty, so this is the elder difficulties uh, for the classic Molina challenge. We have gold characters only, Raiden and Katana characters must be on your team, your team's gonna have outworld characters, and then it repeats until the end with one last copy of Melina. And something is gonna be coming up very soon, so let me cover that as well. <laughs> oh yes, it's your favorite event. Everyone always asks when it's coming back. And finally, we know. It is Relic Hunt on June 9th at 11 a.m. Central Time. Relic Hunt will be returning for uh, all players and it'll be ending on June 19th at 11 a.m. Central Time. So exactly seven days from when it starts on June 9th. That is uh, six days, six days from now. Yes, six days from now, the Relicon event will be starting. So be prepared for that. Uh, and let's go see if there's anything after the Molina challenge. Molina's challenge is the last one to be planned in the game files as of now. Um, We'll be seeing more in the future. I'll be making more videos and I have some better content coming up here soon, like Tower 200 on Elder Wind Tower, Normal and Fatal uh, and other stuff, like maybe some Star Mode gameplays. But I want to do that because I might be going into more detail on kind of like why I've been busy and whatnot. Live streams, I know live streams uh, haven't happened in a while and I do enjoy doing the live streams but it's uh, kind of it's kind of difficult right now uh, with a lot of things going on for me uh, it, it's difficult difficult to do live streams because not only is it a big commitment even if it's just a few hours it is very involved very intense there's a lot of people uh, in chat to respond to there's a lot of repeated questions and whatnot so if I do a live stream I do have to do a lot of scheduling in advance and whatnot which does make live streams a lot more challenging for me they're not as laid back as the eyes I might want them and there's a lot of setting up on accounts and whatnot you can't have star mode games played you have to have tower 200 ready to go but still I do plan to do a live stream at some point here in the future maybe next week um, but I will be letting you guys know if I do decide to do a live stream or it'll just happen sporadically most likely during the day kind of like evening time central evening time uh, but yes that is going to wrap up this video thank you guys so much for watching and let me just give a big shout out to my youtube members because without you guys it would be very challenging to keep this upload schedule going um i i'm trying here i'm trying to keep the upload schedule at least a couple times per week which i haven't been doing very good on uh, but i do want a couple videos a week maybe every couple of days you know what i mean uh, i don't want videos to be every week i want to try to get it uh, up in in size but with the content mk mobile it, it was going down all right it was going down i did not enjoy action movie tower fatal that's just my personal opinion i just did not enjoy action movie Fa tower fatal and it made doing videos extremely challenging uh for me we have friendly guy with the spurger big shad random tab tusar s Ali Black, Ali Amram, uh, Juliano Games, Goku, Ravo, Darkseid, Aiden, Katana, Mr. Valkimo, Press GG, Hamath, Plain Punch, Stefano, Puppy Garcia Official, Damien, Ez Halarson, Jeremy, Bagor, Ghosty XL, 3WPS, Devil, Protax Hayes, Jeff, Shadow Sparkles, Grimmermia, Overkill Lady, Fitzmagic, Massive Cool, Rosislav, and MK Fire. Thank you guys all for being YouTube members. Now that you guys heard the YouTube members, you know what time it is. It is time to end this video. And yeah, guys, peace out.